Welcome back to the Nutrition Made Simple podcast. At Healthy Steps Nutrition, we believe something as fundamental as nutrition shouldn't be complicated, which is why we focus on a simple habit-based approach. We know that becoming the best and healthiest version of yourself isn't just about following macros, a meal plan, or killing yourself at the gym. You have to look at a holistic approach, looking at stress management, sleep, mindset, lifestyle, support system, and of course, exercise and nutrition. I'm your host, Nicole Coyne, registered dietitian and founder of Healthy Steps Nutrition, CrossFit HSN, and HSN Mentoring. I'm also the author of The Healthy Kids Cookbook, 100% kid approved recipes the entire family will love. You can find it on Amazon. In this podcast, I am going to teach you how to take one step at a time to becoming the healthiest version of yourself. Today's guest is Shayla McCormick. Her and her husband are the lead pastors at Coastal Community Church, one church with two locations in Parkland and Lighthouse Point, Florida. At Coastal, they believe everybody's welcome because nobody is perfect and anything's possible. TJ has said the word of the year for Coastal Community Church is health. Every single week, he provides practical tips and actionable steps for people to take one step closer to becoming the healthiest version of yourself. You might be thinking, what does health and faith have to do with each other? Well, more than you think, and Shayla and I talk about it in today's episode. At the end, we talk about an exciting initiative that we are partnering with Coastal Community Church to not only provide people with education, but provide you with a community to support you to taking action to become the best version of yourself. Well, in the fall connect group season, we are going to be hosting a health initiative focusing on four healthy habits, nutrition, moving, sleep, and also reading your Bible, those daily devotionals every single day. You're going to be able to help yourself get into good habits, connect with people that are like-minded, wanting to do the same, but to make it even better, Coastal is going to be donating a dollar per habit that you complete every single day. You're going to have the opportunity to donate Coastal on your behalf is going to be able to donate over $300 to a local charity to feed people in the South Florida community. Super exciting initiative It is going to be launching at the end of August. So we are going to be hosting those initial meetings. Everyone who's participating is going to be needing to schedule an initial meeting that'll start on August 20th. So grab a spot by clicking the link in the show notes to book your spot for today. It's first come, first serve. Again, those appointment slots are going to start on August 20th. The kickoff seminar is going to be Saturday, August 27th. We are so excited to do this initiative, but I hope you enjoy this episode with Shayla McCormick. Shayla, welcome back (laughs) to the Nutrition Made Simple podcast. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be back and just sharing today. I'm super pumped about the topic that we are discussing today. TJ, your husband, yep, made a very clear initiative at the beginning of this year that we are going to be, and I say we because I'm part of the church yes, too, yes. we are going to be the healthiest church in South Florida. Yep. And I think it's it's such a powerful thing for everybody because if you think about it, health in all different aspects of our life, whether it's our mental health, our physical health, our spiritual health, our emotional health, relationship health, you know, like so many aspects to that in life. Yeah. So I, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing how we end up this year and how much progress people have made because of that word. He, you know? every single message at the beginning mm-hmm. reminds people, Hey, we are going to be the healthiest <laughs> church. We will be an you yep. will need to hear things a few times. So yep. you come to church 52 times a year, <laughs> you're going to hear this. We will be the healthiest church at least 52 times. That's exactly right. Every single week we've, we've talked about it. And I know, I mean, I don't know if you want to jump into things, but yeah. I know that a lot of times our faith and our health are pretty deeply connected. And so I think that's kind of something that challenged TJ in the beginning of the year is just thinking about, you know, how is our faith and our health connected? And I think for so many of us, if we, if we do have this deep rooted faith, then we believe that, you know, we're on this earth for such a greater purpose than just to be here and to live and whatever, there's something more for our life. And so I think when we think about our faith and our health, if we do have a purpose for our life and we've been created for a reason, and there's a difference that we're supposed to make, 
the only vehicle that we have for the rest of our life is this body, you know, and the health that we have to accomplish the things that God has purposed for us to accomplish. And so I think that our faith and our health is so deeply connected because if we don't care for the vehicle that God has given us, then, I mean, it ends up breaking down in so many ways and we can't accomplish or we can't make the difference. I mean, I, I'll probably babble on here for a second, but you think about it in our family or as, as moms, as business owners, as community leaders, like if we're not healthy, it's really difficult to be engaged in the things that are making a difference. It's an interesting trend that I'm seeing, even with like super high level CEOs. Mm -hmm. I I went to a Donald Miller event recently and he owns a multi-million dollar business. And he's like, he was, the whole workshop was talking about writing. He said, actually 75% of your success writing has nothing to do with writing. Mm -hmm. It has to do with what you're eating the night before. Are you drinking alcohol? Are you sleeping? Are you moving? And it's, it's nice that people are from all different aspects Mm -hmm. are connecting these dots of like, Hey, we do have to take care of ourselves. Yep. Yep. Well, and, and I think about it, even in, even in my own journey of like getting healthy and connecting all of those things, I was at a place where, you know, I was, there was, you know, disease, I had Graves disease and that affected not only my body, but it affected me mentally. And it was so difficult to even encourage other people or get in the right headspace because I was struggling with something physically. And so, and a lot of it was because I wasn't being healthy in my diet. I wasn't moving. I wasn't, you know, doing the things that I needed to do to get to that place. And so even, you know, as a leader, I'm like, I, this is vital to who we, to who we are. So it's, Awesome that, you know, we've had a lot of conversations Mm -hmm. and TJ actually had Justin Brown, who owns a CrossFit Dem, he's a chiropractor and I up on the stage one weekend talking about nutrition Mm -hmm. and exercise and health. Mm -hmm. And it was a pretty popular topic. There was a lot of people that, that came up to us afterwards and everyone was just really confused, right? Mm -hmm. Like what's right for me? How do I get started? What all these different ideas Mm -hmm. about what is healthy is, is really confusing for people. Yeah. And we actually did a podcast on your podcast about Mm -hmm. it. And after that, TJ was like, well, let's figure out what we can actually do to give people tools, which is super exciting. We'll we'll talk about that in a few minutes, but you know, when people think about getting healthy, Mm -hmm. it, it really starts with one step at a time and consistency. And you are such a huge proponent of helping people understand consistency. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? I mean, consistency to me is like the success piece of everything in life. It's like, you know, we have places that we want to be. We have, this is who I want to be. This is what I want to be. This is, you know, we have all of these goals, but you don't just jump to that place. There's like little steps that you take along the way to get there. And that's, I think, where consistency comes in. You know, I say this so many times is like, you know, the do the things that nobody's doing, you know, so that you can have those things that everybody else wants. And consistency is a huge piece of that. Waking up every day, reading my Bible every single day, no matter how tired I am, no matter how difficult it is, showing up at the gym, putting vegetables on my plate. You know, it's that those daily habits every single day that are getting us to the point of the person that I want to be. And I think a lot of our culture and community, we just want things so quickly, Mm -hmm. but we haven't realized that it's the daily things that we do that get us to that, who we want to be, why we want to be there, you know, all of those kinds of things in, in life is a result of consistency. Absolutely. And I think the problem with it is Mm -hmm. people try to be very consistent with a million things. Oh yeah. At one time. Yep. And then it's like, man, I can't do this. This is not sustainable. And then we go right back to to the old habits. Yes. And I think the other thing is a lot of times people don't do it with someone else. Like Mm -hmm. I know when I get up in the morning and if I don't want to go to the gym, I know I'm going to go to the gym (laughs) because you're there at seven o'clock, usually waiting on me. I think I was there before one time. Mm -hmm. You're getting a little later. (laughs) (laughs) But I, I'm sure that, you know, if you have someone else that you're doing things with, it's so much easier for you to do the hard things, even when you don't want to. Absolutely. Because I mean, 
doing it by yourself, even the Bible, there's a, there's a verse in the Bible that talks about like, if you're, if you're by yourself, what, what is, what is the verse? It talks about two is better than one. Cause if one falls like do that, it stinks to be you, you know, but if there's another person there to lift you up. And I think that's the, so true in life. Like if you're doing it by yourself, you stumble, you fall. It's so difficult to get back up. And recently I even, I did a message on consistency and just talked about how so many times if we can just focus on progress and perfection, right. You know, it's, it's a big deal. And to do that, I have found the most success when I'm doing that with other people. And it's helped me stay consistent because I have somebody there going, no, Sheila, it's okay that you messed up that one time. Just get back up, do it again tomorrow. You know, absolutely. And you find people that are a few steps ahead of you yep. in whatever you're wanting to be consistent at. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, is if you are just surrounding yourself with people that are not consistent, it could be easy to stay inconsistent yes. <laughs> versus getting together with people. I know specifically with my faith journey, you are the most consistent person I know. And surrounding myself with you has made me more consistent with reading the Bible and you keep me accountable to that, which is which is great. Mm -hmm. So thinking about that as you're surrounding yourself with the right people to help you be consistent. I want to talk for a second about where, where do you recommend people take the first step? Mm -hmm. I think getting started a lot of time is, is the toughest part. What should people that are listening to this and their faith journey, health journey, like what is the first step that you recommend? We didn't really talk about this on the front end, but (laughs) kind of put me on the spot. I think the first step is, is figuring out what, like who you want to be and why you want to do that. Yeah. Because if I don't know why I'm doing something, then I'm going to be doing so many different things or looking and comparing myself with other people and thinking, Mm -hmm. well, I want to be like that. So I need to do this, Mm -hmm. but it's like really digging deep and going, who do I want to be? And why do I want to do this? And then it just helps those kind of decisions be easier and to know what I need to focus on. You came on the podcast last time and Mm -hmm. you talked about this specific thing. Mm -hmm. You talked about, you know, really figuring out what you are wanting Mm -hmm. so that you can actually say no easier to things. Yep. And I think you've taught me really a lot about that, Mm -hmm. right? You know, so many times you want to say yes to all the things, but then you end up pouring from an empty cup because you're so tired. Mm -hmm. You don't have anything left to give Mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, and I've, I've realized a lot of it goes with my values too, like what I value as a person. And that also helps me make decisions and leads me in a certain direction. And it makes it so much easier to go, no, that doesn't really line up with what I value or who I want to be. And so it's easier to say no to that, but it also makes it easier for me to know what to say yes to. Like at the end of the day, if I want to be this amazing leader that God has called me to be, then there are some steps that I need to take in order to be healthy. And I'm going to surround myself with people that can make me better in those things. I'm going to have some routines in my life that, that make it easier. And I'm not going to try to jump to that end result right away. I'm going to go, okay, I need to spend 10 minutes reading God's word or in prayer or whatever. I need to make sure I'm going to the gym at least four days a week, you know, and it not be something that I'm setting myself up. And it started with like three days or two days Mm -hmm. and I've slowly built from there. And I think that's that consistency and building on that consistency is so important. Absolutely. I love it. So, you know, if people are listening to this podcast, Mm -hmm. the first step, figuring out what you are wanting. Yeah. So many people tell me they Mm -hmm. want to be healthier, Mm -hmm. right? And if we think about, okay, TJ has said, we are going to be the healthiest (laughs) church in South Florida. Yeah. You guys have decided, Hey, we want to give people the tools, Mm -hmm. surround themselves with people who are also wanting similar things. Yeah. We have come up with this cool idea of running a health initiative in the fall. Mm -hmm. So helping people become their best selves. Yes one step at a time. And the whole goal of this, this initiative Mm -hmm. is coming down to consistency. Yep. Yep. And I think it's really consistency in a couple of areas of life that we've narrowed down are so important to our health. Mm -hmm. You know, it's consistency in our faith. So it's that daily like discipline of reading of, of spending time with God. Mm -hmm. It's moving 
right? Mm-hmm. Consistently getting out. It doesn't have to be some big CrossFit workout, you know, can, right. go on a walk with a friend, you yep. know, it, it helped me out with the other ones. Sleep. Like sleep. Yes. Having quality of sleep is just going to impact everything. Mm -hmm. Number one, your hormone levels. Mm -hmm. Number two, your energy, your mood, your health. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all related Mm -hmm. to the amount of quality sleep that you're getting. A lot of people aren't even aware of that. You know, so many people do not realize the impact they think, oh, well, I only need three hours of sleep. (laughs) No, your body actually says something different and your cortisol level will say something different. your attitude. (laughs) That too. (laughs) So, you know, in the the nutrition, right? So thinking about not a super restrictive diet. And I think that's the most important thing that I want to come across with, you know, when we launch this, Mm -hmm. this best self challenge is, Hey, I don't care what diet. Yeah. It's not a weight loss. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I want people to eat more whole foods, Mm -hmm. like just start there, drink more water, be consistent and see how the other areas of your life Mm -hmm. are impacted when you start eating more real foods. Yep. Yep. There's so many things when you look at your energy levels in the afternoon, your quality of sleep, your mood, you know, feeling better. Yes. All of these things happen when we start off with quality Mm -hmm. nutrition. Well, and I think, again, going back to the accountability and being able that a lot of the reason we're doing this challenge is because sometimes it's really difficult to do things by yourself yep. when other people are moving towards the same goals. And while your why may be different, I think these four areas of our life are key for everybody, yep. no matter what it is, because it, it, again, goes back to this connection of our faith and our health of realizing that we need to care for the only vessel that God has given us to accomplish those things. Exactly. So I'm super excited about it. It is all coming down to consistency. There's going to be a group component. Mm -hmm. You can't run a challenge without prizes. (laughs) So we have some, we have, there are some pretty incredible people within the church that um, are going to be sponsoring each Mm -hmm. week. And we'll be giving out prizes, not based on losses or gains, but really based on, are you being consistent with the habits, with yep. reading your Bible, which TJ talks about. And a lot of times maybe people have been thinking about it for a while, but they're like, mm-hmm. I don't know where to start. Mm-hmm. Great. This is going to be the yep. place to start. Yep. And then the exercise, the movement piece, go for a walk, mm-hmm. 30 minutes of daily activity, nutrition, quality foods, and then the sleep component. So four different habits each day that we are looking to be consistent with throughout this, the fall season yep. with connect groups. Yep. There's going to be quite a few shout out to Josh. Um, <laughs> he's putting together some health initiative connect groups, yes. which yep. is going to be awesome. Yep. And the really cool thing is there's going to be this group feature within the healthy steps nutrition app where everyone can encourage each other. Yes. So, you know, a lot of times I know when Jason and I started going to the church for, I think the first year, like we would go on Sundays <laughs> and then we would leave. And it wasn't until Susie came knocking on our gym door saying, Hey, can you guys sponsor this thing? And we're like, yeah, of course. Yep. And then we started getting involved and realized, holy cow, there are some really incredible Mm -hmm. people Mm -hmm. in the church that I want to surround myself with all the time. Yes. And when, again, it goes back to like, when you're kind of doing those things together, there's this bond that's created, there's relationships that are formed and Mm -hmm. things that, you know, you'll always have that shared experience and hopefully carry that beyond just an 11 week challenge, right. You know, into you've totally changed habits in your life and you're seeing this healthier, better version of yourself. And you've connected yourselves with people Mm -hmm. who are also looking to do the same thing that can keep you accountable after this is over, which is really the whole goal. Yes. So that's the super exciting part for people to invest in themselves, Mm -hmm. the time Mm -hmm. and energy into Mm -hmm. themselves. But the really cool thing, as we were kind of talking through it, you guys are like, well, let's make it bigger than ourselves. Yes. Let's do something and connect it to a local charity. So do you want to spend a couple of minutes yeah. talking about this piece? I mean, it's always really important for us. You know, one of our values at church is we live generously. And so, so many times, like we want to help people to be that best version of themselves, but we also want to inspire people to realize this isn't just about you. Like this can impact so many more people. And so as part of this challenge, we are incorporating how people can kind of work to give back in a way, like you're making a difference for yourself. You're making a difference for others. So by completing the different goals, habits, what habits, yes. Thank you (laughs) for the day. Every time you complete one of those, it's a dollar that's going to this local charity. 
And so every day you can get up to four points, whatever it may be. And over the life that leads into like, I don't know, what was it like $300? So if every person completed all of those every day, that at the end of the challenge, that's $300 per person, you know, depending on how many people complete the challenge, this can be a large amount of money that's being donated to help feed people and make a difference and help them in an area they may be struggling in their life. So how cool can we like make a difference for ourselves while at the same time being able to give back and affect somebody else's life? Absolutely. I'm super excited about this. You were talking about the feeding organizations and it's like $1 feeds 10 meals. It provides 10 meals. So yeah. if you think about that 10 times 300, that's 3000. 3,000. <laughs> that's a lot of meals for people. Yeah. And that's just some, one person completing the stuff. That's 3,000 meals for one person. I mean, the amount, the, I'm excited to do the math at the end with how many people are impacted. Yeah, our many, math together. <laughs> not, we'll let Jason or someone else handle the math piece. I'm super excited about this. So mm-hmm. I'm sure people are thinking like, how can I get involved when um, when does this start? When does it end? What, what are the details of this? Mm-hmm. Um, so mid August is when it's going to start. We're yep. going to have the way you can opt into this initiative is, uh, doing an initial screening, mm-hmm. uh, which we'll do at the church, make it super easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll have access to the healthy steps nutrition app. You're actually creating, um, daily or weekly devotional videos yep. related to all these different aspects, yep. which is going to be really cool to have you in the app. And then there'll be a group feature. We're going to have the kickoff seminar towards the end of August. Mm -hmm. And then it'll start from, from there. And then it'll go through mid November. So if people want to opt in, all you need to do is click the link in the show notes and book your time. It's a simple calendar. Book your time mid August to come in. Just do it now because you're going to forget. And then don't worry, there'll be a plenty of reminders of your appointment time. <laughs> and yeah, we're super excited for this initiative. I know. I, I can't wait to see, you know, again, starting out with like this being our goal to have the healthiest church. Like I can't wait to see what people look like, not look like, but how they feel, Feel. how they're different, you know, like what life looks like as they complete this and move forward with healthy habits in their life. I think I'm excited about that, but I'm so excited about people connecting with other people who are looking to do the same thing. Yep. It's going to be an amazing, amazing thing. Cool. I hope you enjoyed that episode with Shayla and you've gained some clarity around why we should be bridging the gap between faith and health, why you should be prioritizing your health so that you can live out the purpose that you were designed to live out. We only have one body and we need to take care of it. Well, we are so excited to be launching this new health initiative in the Fall Connect Group season. We will be starting initial appointments the week of August 15th. All you need to do is click the link in the show notes to lock in your spot. We will be hosting most of the initial appointments at the Parkland location, although there will be one morning that we are going to set aside for the Lighthouse Point location. The kickoff seminar will be hosted at the Parkland location, which is going to be on Saturday, August 20th. You can attend live or you'll be able to catch the recording. We're so excited to bring the Coastal Community Church family together to all of us help support each other to make health a way of life one step at a time. Hope you enjoyed this podcast episode. Don't forget to leave us a review, subscribe so that you don't miss another episode. We'll see you back here next week.